That's so cute, but it doesn't fit in here. Ooh, it has a Halloween theme. I really like this outfit. I can't move my screen. Okay, one pumpkin. Here we go. Wait, 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 no, no. Friends and gamers, hopefully my microphone is okay because when I opened up OBS, it like kind of reset itself and that always scares me, but I checked audio levels, so we should be okay. Anyways, we have a paleo patch today. We have patch 0 0.170. So as per usual, before we get into the patch notes, and I do kind of want to speed run them because I do want to get in game. Oh, wait, no, that reminds me. Let me update my game. I always forget to do this. I always forget to do this changed a little bit. I'm going to leave that on the other screen. Okay. I say this because it's on the other monitor, but she's updating. She's taking a minute, but she's updating. We're going to go through patch notes while she updates. So as per usual, I did see these patch notes a little bit early or an earlier version of these patch notes. So much more bare bones because I am a paleo partner. Okay. We got that out of the way. This is really like the spooky fall update that I really, really wanted. So we'll circle back, put a pin in this for now, but circle back something I wanted back like months ago in like August and said, that would be really fun in October. I'm pretty sure it's being added to the game. So I did not know about it back in August. I just said I wanted it and it's being added. It's very like minuscule, by the way. It's not like a huge thing. It's just, it's very tiny. There's other, one other thing that I keep forgetting is in this patch that I'm also very excited for and it will probably be the main focus of this video. So at a glance, we have the Spooky Moon set, which if I remember correctly, is really nice. Actually, no, I don't think I've seen this set. I, we'll go to, I don't think I've seen it in full. Also, we're, the outfits are like being are down here chilling, but this is the big one. Oh no, this is another big one. A certain miner's heart is now available for romance. It is who you think it is. It is Hodari, by the way. Spoiler alert, it's him. This is what I'm excited for. Test your traversal skills with the all new obstacle course. Okay, my game updated. Now, I think I can say this. I'm gonna make sure I can before, but I have seen some of the obstacle course and it looks really good. <laughs> so I'm really excited to actually get my hands on it and play it myself because I know I'm gonna be raging. I feel like it has only up vibes and I'm so excited. There are flare arrows in nearby chat, which is the new name for proximity chat, which also that being added to the game and we'll put I'll circle back to this probably makes sense with all the chat issues I was having because I usually hide my chat when I'm recording videos for Pelia just because I don't want to have to deal with like editing anything weird out later or like somebody trying to do a get rich quick off of Pelia coins scam, you know, something like that. Don't do that, by the way, but people do it. And I don't want to have to edit it out later. I've had to edit it out in other games recently. It's annoying, but I have been having some issues with the chat popping up. So if they were doing something with it, that makes sense as to what that was. And then also there is some more sorting options for the workbench, which is always very helpful because half the time you got a lot of stuff. Starting off, we have our premium outfits. I think they're mostly fall themed. Obviously the, the kicker is going to be the vampiric bundle. We got this Asterian looking ah over here, but it's a vampire costume. It looks cool, but it's a vampire costume. I don't know what else you were expecting, but it includes the charmer, the chiropter. What is this word? And the count. It does look, I don't know if this is just a glitch, but it does look like these, because this is the same outfit, but different variants of it. It looks like this might be the most variation we've seen in like different outfits because this is shoulder pads like big shoulder pads this one does it we also have the stately sage which i think might be this one and then the student which might be this one i'm not entirely sure don't quote me because i thought this was a scarecrow outfit i'm gonna be honest new features and quality of life additions if my mouse would work pumpkins this is what i said to put a pin in back in like august i think i made a joke about it'd be really nice if we had pumpkins in like the fall like for spooky season and they're adding pumpkins i did not know when i said that that they'd be adding pumpkins by the way it was just a shot in the dark i thought pumpkins would be fun i'm literally allergic to pumpkins i have no stake in pumpkins but i thought it would be fun and you know what i'm not allergic to pumpkins and paleo so it's cool i think they're a gardenable thing i'm not entirely sure i don't, actually no i don't think they are because it also has to do with their mysterious cash register like all the pumpkins around Kilima, a mysterious cash register has appeared selling rather ghastly goods for gold. And you can find the register in the fountain area behind Jell's shop. So it's behind a shop basically. And then there are nine decor pieces available. It is an assortment of different pumpkins. I have seen an image, but I don't know if I can show it. So we're, we're not going to rock with that. Another quality of life. Obviously, Hotari is romanceable. I believe there is a caveat for this though. 
Yes. You must complete Najma's level four friendship quest before you can r start romancing Hodari because he is a good dad. <laughs> I actually kind of love that. Like when I found this part out, I was like, this is so wholesome. Like you have to, his kid has to like you before you could. That is the cutest thing. I still love it. Okay, I still love it. Stop, they called him the sad dad. Somebody please help Odari. There is also a note about Sifu and Sifu being romanceable. And there's lore reasons. Interesting. I love lore. Here it is, the all new obstacle course. This is accessible through a uh, arcade machine, the busted up one in the black market. I will be kind of showing on recording how to get there because we're going to go there. You can get coins for Zeki's thing. It's like really cool. It's a really cool thing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I swear, I swear. I'm very excited. This is like the thing I was excited for and I kept forgetting it was in this patch because it's such a big thing that I was like, oh, that's not in this patch. That's going to be in a different patch. No, it's in this patch. But they do know specifically in the notes, the patch notes here, that it is an experiment and it is an approach way to approach different ways to play Palea because everyone plays games differently. So this is like a different version, different thing to do. And specifically, it is designed to be a bonus content. You are not missing out if you do not do the obstacle course. You don't have to complete it to get the big items. They say it here. It literally is just a fun little side thing. And as somebody who really enjoys platformers and like puzzle type games like this, I'm very excited. I'm super excited for this. And I ha I've been waiting, I've been waiting, but you do not miss anything from not doing it. So that's kind of the main thing. It's not like there's no f FOMO here. You don't have to do it. You can watch other people do it and get your fix. New furniture items for the Valley Sunrise set have been added to Zeki's machine. We have the nearby chat or proximity chat. It was previously called proximity chat, but they did change it to nearby. And it I'm assuming it's because they say you can uh, type out slash nearby as like a command. It's so much easier to do nearby instead of proximity, you know? Then we have the flare arrows, which should be pretty fun and will probably freak me out quite a bit at first. More sorting options. I really like the alphabetical because I usually look for things in alphabetical. So that's probably going to be really helpful. Also, this never crafted is one I'm very excited for because I am on a goal to craft everything that I have. So <laughs> bookshelves and cabinets can be closed and you can put decor inside them. That was another thing I remember hearing about. Yes, you, you can put stuff in things. There's a pumpkin in this cabinet now. Look at that. Canceling recipes is a big thing. There's been some adjustments. I do think there was a glitch with this. Yes. The, this initially says, because I'm recording this a couple hours late because I went out and touched grass today, real grass. But it does say here that fireplaces, doors, hallways, and porches no longer count towards the building add-on limit. But as an editor's note, that was added some point later in the day because it still says it's the 12th. Unfortunately, hallways do still count towards your building limit. And I believe that might be something they're working on still, but it just hasn't been implemented in game yet. There was also, they fixed, I didn't even know this was a thing, but they at some point changed the default speed for fishing, which makes sense because I thought it felt a little slower, but I thought I was also just going insane. They did at some point change it. Then they reverted it in this update back to be faster, but you can also adjust the option in the settings menu. So I thought that was really cool because they had introduced both options. And I think that it had been like 50 50 or some people also just didn't care. Like I didn't even know. I genuinely did not, did not know. But I like that they added the option to actually go in and change it depending on which speed you liked better. I really like that because a lot of games don't do stuff like that. You have one speed option and that's it. If they decide to change the speed option, everyone goes with the one speed. But now you can change it, which is I like that a lot, actually. There's some FAQs. Um, I feel like this is going to be a big one. You can romance multiple villagers. Um, you can romance all of them. I feel that I, I would like to point that one out. Wait, you can. I didn't know you could also romance your chef and people figure it out with Wrath specifically. Oh, we're done for. We're done for. I have another paleo video going up in a couple of days that I recorded like last week. Y'all will see what I'm talking about. This is also something I'm interested in. Are there plans to make pumpkins be a crop? And it says to that due to how gardening works, we have to be mindful of introducing new crops and how that impacts existing strategies. Because there is a whole min-maxing system out there with gardening. Uh, and also has the balance of cooking as well as something that's related to that. They did add pumpkins. It's just not a crop. I kind of won here. I think, think we're good. What other bug fixes? Any that I, oh, we can now confidently confirm that adding 99 fertilizers to all nine soil plots will no longer prevent you from interacting with them. See, I was getting a much lower level glitch where if I put fertilizer on all nine plots, my grass started glitching out. And I'm just talking about one fertilizer on all nine plots. My grass would glitch out, but it looks like it's fully been fixed. 
so that's good. This is an interesting one. Players no longer get stuck in an infinite loading screen when trying to leave their housing plot before talking to Hardari during the early game tutorials. I don't even... How do you find that one? Oh, and there's been an overall polish done to textures and environment details. Love that. I love that sort of thing. What are some known issues then? And then we'll get into the game. Oh, interacting with the wardrobe while your character is stuck in the missing textures and T-posing appearance will cause your character to reset slash change appearances permanently. And yeah, so there is no official fix for this yet. It's still a known issue. The workaround still is to just re-log into the game and then don't interact with the wardrobe. Interesting. See, I accidentally interacted with my wardrobe right after this was uh, announced as an issue and it didn't do anything to my character, I don't think. I wasn't stuck in the T-posing thing. I just went to my wardrobe to change my outfit. So there we go. And then also it does say that they are working on localization actively as well. I did not know that there was issues with localization because I've been playing in English. So it does seem like they are working on that still. But I think that is good for now. I'll keep this open in case we run into any more issues in game. We can kind of go through them, but it has been multiple hours since the update dropped. So I'm assuming any really, really big game breaking issues have kind of been fixed. If not, they know about it at least. So let's get in, why don't we? I will say I just popped into game and I did have T-pose and textures missing for like two seconds, but I wasn't stuck there. So we should be okay. I swear every time I log in, I forget I have the butterfly outfit. I kind of feel like changing my hair again. I don't know, because I feel like the hair, this updo, I don't like the bang, but everything else about it is okay. I don't think I'm going to be spending any money on the new outfits, but we will go take a look at them for sure. Okie dokie, lots of stuff popping up. I have to deal with crops, don't I? I don't want to deal with my crops right now. I'm going to be honest. Ooh, what is up with that blueberry bush? Oh, it's a, it, I don't want to deal with my crops. I'm going to be honest. I don't. Maybe later. Why is Esha giving me gold? Judging from what I have heard about the state of your house, you need this pocket change more than I do. What is that supposed to mean? Esha. I know. Why do I feel like my mouse like moving it? Like if I move, why do I feel like it's opposite? What is going on? My skateboard is still glitched. <laughs> Listen, I love that skateboard glitch. Okay. I have come to love it. So can, oh, that's the wardrobe. No, 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 no. So I can open you. Oh my God. Wait, I want to put like star quality food in there. Can I do that? How do you... Wait, that's so cute, but it doesn't fit in here. Darn. It doesn't fit in the food cabinet. Fooey. Okay, I wanna I wanna put it um in front of this. Um <laughs> I still wanna put it on the table. Because I grabbed it anyways. Fit in there, darn. That'll be so cute. What about uh, this piece of meat? No, I can't do that. <laughs> like, what can I place down? Okay, let me close this out. Oh, it, that was not correct. Um, close. There we go. Do I have anything else that I can open? No, the chests are not openable. I don't think I have anything else that I can open, unfortunately, but that's cute. I think I can technically open these as well. Yeah, hold on. Let's, uh, oh, cute. That's going to be a pain in the butt to like open and put stuff in, but I'm like, I'm willing to try. <laughs> so do I have anything else? I might have some stuff in here, maybe. This is my like shed. I think this is why Eshe thinks my house is gross, but it's the shed. What do you expect from the shed? Okay, but we need to go behind Jell's shop and in the shop so we can check out the new outfits. But then we also need to do the obstacle course, which is at Zeki's. And it's open right now, technically. So we might want to do that first. The problem with the obstacle course is if I do that first, I'm going to be in there for the entire rest of this video. Like we're going to be in there for the next hour. So I think I need to do the other things first. We'll probably have to wait a whole nother day cycle to get the underground. But I think that's probably the best way for me to do it. Oh, wait. Okay, so I haven't played in a couple days and now I'm seeing all the pumpkins. I think I, the last time I played was right before they added all these pumpkins. I was curious about that because they said, just like you keep seeing all these pumpkins around Paleo. I didn't know about that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Also, uh, don't pay no attention to my overly long quest menu on the side of the screen. Here, I'll I'll unpin some stuff. Um, I'll unpin the, my quest so we can like have a full view of the screen. Um. I was doing some questing in another video that will be going up later this week. Actually, it might be going up tomorrow because of I originally thought this update was going to be on Tuesday. I literally went into Zeki's shop like mistakenly. I did not mean to go in there. I feel like I am having some lag and frame rate issues as well, which kind of is stinky, but we'll make do. Okay, so premium shop time. Ooh, it has a Halloween theme. I love that. 
Halloween is like one of my favorite holidays. Um, so this sort of thing makes me very excited. Oh, and I'm seeing the student outfit now, and I kind of really like it. Oh no. Oh dear. Ooh, that's ironic. Okay, outfit time. I've gotten so good at like quick placing my box. Okay, so we're gonna start with the sage outfit. I love this purple background too. Oh my god. Okay, earth and air is first. I actually really like this. Oh, the top especially. It's giving. What is it giving? This is. This might be a too niche of a reference, but it's giving classic MMO. And I say that not because I'm thinking of any specific MMO, but I'm thinking about. I think it's a Taiwanese drama. What is the what is the name? Oh my god, I, it was so ridiculous and I loved it. <laughs> I watched it multiple years ago. It's not because there's been a more recent one, um, like a more recent like esports adjacent C drama. It's not that one. Oh my god, Love O Two O. It was a web drama. Oh my god. <laughs> and for whatever reason, this top is reminding me of the game in the show, which was not a real game. I don't think. Listen, I loved that. I loved that. I binge watched the whole thing like a month. I didn't know about it until a month after it finished airing. And I binge watched the whole thing in like under a week. If you're looking for a corny C drama, I recommend it. <laughs> but this is the Earth and Air outfit. We have this first colorway, which uh, I'm assuming is red and green because it disappeared. The second one is yellow and purple, which I really like this one, actually. <laughs> and then the last one is going to be this like orange and black. Perfect for the season, quite frankly. I'm curious if this little orb will change colors or it's just going to stay that way. <gasps> Wait, is it like a flow orb? That would make sense. OK, next we have right and ritual. The yeah, the orb must be like a flow orb because it's not changing color. Interesting. So for right and ritual, the colorways for this one do look very samey, which I don't know how I feel about that. I also feel like the details I'm seeing here are slightly different from what is being shown in the picture, like the arm. Because it almost looks like this other arm here, like this right arm, or technically be your character's left arm, but the right arm, like facing it, is supposed to have like a fabric and a pattern on it. I don't know if it's glitched here or it's glitched on my character. I can't really tell, but there's definitely looks like there's some sort of glitch happening. I actually like it and prefer it with the cut out on the arm i don't like it as much when the arms are completely covered i like asymmetrical designs and i think that this uh t-shirt thing is really fun so i actually prefer how it's appearing on my avatar but i don't know what's going on here because it's the same with right and ritual it looks like there's supposed to be fabric here but it's not showing up on my character i don't know where that is a glitch if it's a glitch at all i really can't tell but i prefer how it looks here i'm gonna be honest so yeah our first colorway is going to be like a what like a khaki olive green mixture type of thing with some blues the second colorway is going to be monochromatic blue there's a little bit of purple design elements in there as well and then the last one which i also really like is like an aqua blue uh, with aqua blue accents with like again that like khaki olive green this is a more yellow toned i think though i really like this one not with the hair i currently have i would definitely change my hair probably but like i really like this outfit our last one is the history and mystery outfit I actually like I think this might be my favorite design just because it looks like butterfly wings here. It just looks like butterfly wings all over. And I kind of love that. This first colorway is going to be black and white with like gold coppery accents. Ooh, and then we have like an all gold monochromatic one, different tones of gold. That's really nice. And our last colorway is going to be purple and orange. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like if you were going for like a Halloween color scheme, the color scheme that on the earth and air outfit is a lot nicer. I wish this history and mystery had more color schemes. If it did, I definitely think it would be my favorite, but I think I have to give right. I think I have to give the crown to right and ritual just because I love this first blue one and as well as the second blue one. I think this aqua one is so nice. So uh, it wins in my book. That's the sage bundle. Then we have student style, which is definitely interesting. Studio Arts is the first variation. It's like a cropped sweater situation is what it looks like. And the Studio Arts outfit is very patchworky, very thrift store chic. And I kind of love that. Also, there's a little purse. It's cute. It does look like the purse is much smaller on the avatar than it is in the picture. Like the picture with the purse looks a lot bigger. Don't know why that is. Don't know if that's a glitch or not. Oh, and the art student one has a little like chain on the jeans. That's so cute. So the first one is going to be 
very classic. It's like a red and a blue. Got the classic blue jeans. Then we have this one. The second colorway is going to be a lot of green and brown. And then the third one is going to be more brown, and but so with like blues and purples. Then we have creative writing, which has some plaid pants. There still is like a chain on the pants, which is really cool. Oh, there's jewelry. Wait, I didn't notice that. Oh, oh, wait. I kind of really like the creative writing one. Oh, and there's like patches. It was No, this one has like elbow patches on this uh, under sweater. Ooh. So creative writing. I really like the creative writing one. We have this khaki monotone with a little bit of blue accent. Then we have kind of swapped, it almost feels like. The top is blue and there's like some dark brown khaki-ish pants. And color three is going to be a pink top with like bluish pants. I kind of really like this outfit. Actually, I was like the pants kind of had a girl on me a little bit. But you know what? I really like this student style bundle. Oh, I'm going to keep my eyes on it because I don't feel like spending money today because I, I did go out and touch grass and spend money today. But I'm going to keep it on the back burner. And the next time I want to buy an outfit really badly, um, I might get enough coins to also buy this one because I really like it a lot. However, we have one more version of this outfit. It's going to be the finance outfit, which is giving a much more futuristic look, if you will, just with this like pattern on the top, which personally I think makes a lot of sense. The first one is going to be this brown, green, and blue version. And then we have a brown and blue version, but it's more of like an orangey brown, it feels like. And last but not least, which is, this is probably my favorite version of it. We have a green and red with more brown version. I don't know what it is. I love these red pants. The green shoes with it is a bit much, but I do think it will be really fun in like December. <laughs> so that's the student style bundle. And then we have the vampiric outfit, which, yeah, no, I think the shoulder pads just appear different on different character frames. The shoulder pads on the masculine character frame look like huge and on the feminine character frame, they don't look as big. So first we have the count outfit which it looks like most of the differences here are going to fall kind of in this like corset piece. So for the count outfit, it is just patterned really, it looks like. And then there's matching patterns all throughout the outfit of the design on the corset piece. This first colorway is going to be like a navy blue and black. Then we have this like green and orange, which I kind of wish they incorporated more of this like dark emerald green. It's incorporated a decent amount but I almost wish there was more of it on the outfit I really like that dark emerald green and our last colorway for this one is going to be a gold and gray I very classic it's nice it is nice so next we have the charmer which this one the textures are a bit funky looking I will say that especially on the corset piece but this one is definitely more of a traditional style specifically because it is like an actual laced up corset it looks like it has this rose looking design on the back, which I think is really nice. And it is also like the classic red, black and red vampire look. That's our first colorway. Then we have an all silver, like a, a chrome, if you will, version. And then the last version for this is going to be like kind of like monotone purple. But I do think that is black mixed in there as well. It's kind of hard to tell because... It's a very cool tone black, but it's still a black, I think. And it also looks like the texture kind of fixes itself if you tap around in the different colors. So not too much of an issue. The last one is going to be this Chiropteran outfit, which the textures could be better because I was going to say this is my favorite one because it has a bat on the corset and it has like a different sort of design for the corset as well has much more of a deeper cutout on the side. I was looking forward to this one. I was, but the bat design, for whatever reason, again, is doing the same thing that the Charmer outfit did, where it's kind of looks a little bit low poly and glitchy on my end, but it's not fixing itself if I tap around. But it's very sharp here, so I don't know what's up with that. But the first colorway for this one is going to be another black and purple, but more on the black side. Then we have like a monotone red-orange, as well as a very black and red one very interesting <laughs> oh but this is cool the cape in the back has bat wings that's really nice actually so i'm honestly thinking my favorite might be the charmer and it's this purple and black like for me for my character however i do think my absolute favorite again still might be the charmer but it is this black and red 
I think that's my favorite of all the versions. But if I was going to get one for my character, I would probably go purple just because I tend to go for pink, purple, and blue. Alternatively, though, the Charmer, I think, might be the best one. The Bat one, the this one would be nice if it wasn't so glitchy with the bat on the corset. I do have to say that. So I believe that's all our new outfits. I'm not buying any today, but that doesn't mean I won't in the future. So now we should be able to go out behind gel shop once I move my box back. I don't think there's any sort of time constraint on this one. Like with the black market, I think we can just go out back and there's a cash register. I see a glowing cash register. I do. Open store. Ooh, cute. And nothing's really like limited. Like you don't need a certain level or anything. And honestly, I actually really appreciate this because everything is priced pretty fairly during the Maji Market event. And that was kind of what ended up being the biggest turnoff for me is that the prices of things were kind of really high up there it was really hard to try and get most things and that's kind of why I just I feel like I kind of gave up on the event because I was like I'm not gonna get what I want because it's everything's very expensive and I'm taking my time with this game I'm not min maxing I'm just having fun but everything here looks fairly attainable so I'm gonna try to buy one of each that I can for now I don't know how far I'll be able to get and then once it gets light out okay i didn't i didn't have enough for the spooky vine pumpkin or the wallpaper but that's fine it's because now now that we have our things we are going to i think go back to my housing really quickly i'm gonna pin that so i can head back home oh this is a weird glitch um i can't move my screen wait i can like oh my map is gone too wait wait what <laughs> i broke the game i broke is it because i pinned something um i broke the game <laughs> I'm going to return home and see if that fixes it. I don't know if this is a known issue. Maybe we should check the thing. Uh, ew, I broke the game. Okay, it's fixed again. That was so weird. Is that a known issue? Okay, I have patch notes. Is it a known issue? I'm like, I need to know this. Can I like search it on the page? What would that even be? Ah, is this it? There are areas where you might fall through the world or get stuck in an unexpected corner, typing on suck or using the return to home button on your map will free you. I don't think that's right. What would that even be? Oh, I, I forgot they do this in the patch notes. You took a whole scary journey all the way to the bottom. Since you're so brave, here's a treat to click. It's just takes you to the wiki. <laughs> I forgot they do that at the bottom. I don't know if I, this is like a known issue or not. I just like accidentally came across it. I really cannot tell. Okay, so let us place some pumpkins. <laughs> we have one pumpkin. Oh, wait, I, I, to I totally have to put one on the chair. Okay, one pumpkin. I think we put this jack-o'-lantern on the chair. We got to turn it properly. There we go. Then we have this Saranuk one. You can go right here, I think. Yes. What is this one then? Big pumpkin. Let's put this one on this side. I'm going to put it on the ground. Oh, wait, I didn't know we could put pumpkins on the... I think there was a glitch here a while ago where you, they told us not to put those pumpkins there, but I'm doing it anyways. Then we have the stack. I think I'm going to put the stack over on this side in front of my bench with the broken skateboard that I will not be fixing. I refuse to fix my glitched skateboard. There's this floating candle thing. How do we... Where do we put it? How does it float? How does this work? I'm going to place it. Oh, it just floats. Where do I want to put the floating candle? I wish I could put it like right there. I don't think the floating candle is worth it, guys. Don't buy the floating candle. Uh, that's all I have to say. I put it like right here. I mean, it goes there. I'm gonna put it there. So these other candles then have to go inside. These are the spooky candles. I don't know what I have to do to light them up. You can put them there. Oh, <gasps> they just light up. Oh my God. Are they glitched? Or do they just kind of, do I have the, is it, do I have them too close to something else? Hold on. They might be glitched. I want to put them over here though, I think. Let's put them right maybe here perfect i don't want to put them by the sunflower because it'll break it or set it on fire i think that's all i picked up that's first run through looks like it so we will buy more pumpkins <laughs> i want so many pumpkins okay let me do my gardening now i'll do it now so we can sell some tomatoes so i can buy more pumpkins am i going to continuously buy pumpkins yes it also, I will say, it, it does kind of look like the texture on the tomatoes might have gotten darker, but I don't know if that is just from, like, the lighting right now, or if that's part of the texture overhaul. So yeah, now we get to just sit around 
Um, I don't know how much of the obstacle course I'm going to do in this video because I've already been kind of sitting here for like 40 minutes. Um, so we're at least going to run through it a couple times and then I might record a video right after this where I do a lot more of the obstacle course uh, and upload that in the coming weeks just because I don't want to get too crazy with it. I don't think any of these are harvestable and nothing has weeds, so we're good. I should have some seeds in here, I think. Corn seeds. Oh, I didn't know. I, I didn't remember I made that much corn. I'm going to throw this uh, cotton in there just to make some seeds for that because I don't really plan on using it. Um, Can I throw blueberries in? How much do I need? Okay, four. So that'll be next. Save those tomato. And I sell the star quality ones because you get more money. Boom. Also the weeds. Okay. I think I had this stuff set out for villager requests, but I don't know if those are still valid. I don't remember when I recorded the last paleo video, I'm going to be honest. All right, let's plant some of this corn. Just putting it in the spots where I have room for it. I don't know if this is uh, financially sound, but I'm going to do it anyways. And I'm going to plant. I am going to plant with my fertilizer again because I can do that without worrying about my grass glitching out. More corn. And now we have to water everything. And then we can do fertilizer. I'm definitely going to need to refill the water. There we go. I'm almost done watering my plants, but I just realized we probably should have bought something from Zeki's shop so we could get the thing. But ah, uh, I'm really curious to see how those pumpkins look at night. I do want to check really quickly. Yeah, it looks like I jumped the gun for these requests. So... I can put a lot of this stuff back. I think also I have these fireworks in my inventory and I don't really use them. So I think I'm just going to sell them Um, because they sell for quite a bit. <laughs> I got them from Zeki. So I think I'm just going to throw them in there. Same thing with this fish and this lake lotus. I had those for villager requests, but like I said, I jumped the gun and um, I don't really need them anymore. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the fertilizer. Okay, hold on. I thought it was done. I have... A whole bunch of fertilizer that has been piling up I need to use because it was glitched for a while so I was just kind of waiting for it to be fixed. I think I accidentally put it twice on one thing but it's okay because the glitch is gone. The wicked glitch is dead. I'm free. I can fertilize my plants. I didn't know who was putting all 99 fertilizers on nine plants. That's a lot of fertilizer. Does it does it that do anything? Does extra fertilizer like, what, how much is too much? When is it, like, opportunity cost, you know? Is that the economic thing? I don't know. I was an AP econ in high school and had to drop it halfway through the year because it was too hard for me. Numbers make my brain hurt. Okay, let's go. Let's go buy some... I accidentally started watering. Let's go buy some more pumpkin stuff. And then probably do some fishing where I will probably speed through. We also need to buy something from Zeki just so I can get a coin, but I don't think we're going to use it because I have to go home for it and I, I goofed, so. I also want to look into starting to get like upgrades on my house. I think I can do that now. So I want to stop by City Hall as well, which we definitely have a ton of time for if I don't get stuck in the queue. We're free. Oh, I love fa Paleo Fall. See, I I am so... I, I have so much will to play this game now because the pumpkins everywhere give me life. See, I, I might be allergic to pumpkins IRL, but not in the game. And it's so cute. Uh, that's Tish's shop. Zeki, we're gonna go to Zeki's. We could probably do the uh, obstacle course during the day I'm more like, the more I think about it. So let's buy something really quickly. I usually buy like one worm, but I actually want to see... Okay, insufficient funds. Oh, wait, I have enough. I also just realized I, I didn't pick up my gold. I also have 1,000 renown, so we need, definitely need to do something with that. I did not realize. The spicy pepper seed. I can buy it. I hit the right gardening level. I just don't have enough money anymore. <laughs> Darn. I will buy one worm <laughs> a singular worm thank you zeki let's go do something with this renown my god how long has that been capped okie dokie open the renown store yeah rooms are worth gold so i'm thinking maybe we just buy some more ritz i think i have let's get five and let's see what we can do with that just to like uncap the renown get it uncapped and then like i said i think we can go do the underground obstacle course now so let's give it a shot oh can i not go that way i thought i could just hop it Never mind. I hope that the underground, I hope that the obstacle course gives out uh, uh, gold because I am so broke. So broke. I need monies. I'm so excited. Like I've seen it, but I need, I have not been able to play it myself. So I'm really excited. Ever, like more people than usual are down here at this time. 
the tower. Let me in. Let me in. This is going to keep me so entertained. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I've seen it. I haven't seen it with other people on it. All right. Let's give it a shot. I read. Okay. So a new challenge. And yes, the, le the note is from Singularity 6 specifically. Welcome to the tower, intrepid human. Do you have what it takes to reach the top? Many trials have been devised for your gaming enjoyment. Some will rise. Many will fall. If you love a challenge, there will be much fun to be had, or else my mission will have failed. Good luck, S6. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> it is timed, by the way. You will see that speed timer, but, um, oh, someone already fell. <laughs> Poor thing. Wait, 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 no, no. <laughs> I immediately fell after that. See, there's certain things where you should not be sprinting unless you like really know what you're doing. Bop, bop, bop. That was risky. Okay, no sprint. Oh my god, no! no, no I fell. <laughs> Somebody was standing there! This is hard with multiple people. Like, it actually is difficult. Oh my god, are you, are you joking? How, how did that knock out? How did that knock out? Okay, let me add it again. I feel like this is the easier... I was gonna say this is the easier way to go, but then I goofed. I goofed. <laughs> okay, this way is definitely the easier way to go. Bop, bop. And then we stop our sprint. Oh, are you joking? I, over, I overshot it! I'm so bad at this. What the heck? I think it is more difficult when you have this many people on it as well. Okay, no more sprint. All right. Okay. 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 Now, I know that one way is supposedly easier than the other, but I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I did it. No! <laughs> I was so close. Ah! I was doing so well, too. Oh, my God. Y'all think we want to get the controller out and see if it'll work? I know controller usage. My sprint wasn't was not turned off. I know controller usage is a little bit wishy washy with Palea, but we might want to give it a shot. So far, so good. I'm planning this way. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Maybe we try the other way. We try the other way this time. Okie dokie. I run. Boom. Okay, let's try the other way. I think that might be my sprint. My sprint. <laughs> I think the other way around is supposedly the easier way. Let's try this again. Why is my sprint not finishing? Okay, there we go. Apparently this is easier. Oh no, it totally is. Oh, I over I did not show shot enough for that. I definitely think maybe the jump and glide is the best way to go. Okay, we go this way. Boom, boom. Yes, jump and glide. A very quick jump and glide. Oh, how do you get up? Oh, you gotta do that. J very, it's a very quick jump and glide. Okay, um, I think... You can cut across. Oh god, oh god. No! Shot a little bit. Oh, that was so close. No. Oh my god. Okay, we, we go again. We try again. And then we go this way. I think. Okay, we're up on the table. We're up on the table. I feel so bad for my poor little palka. It's really just like here. Okay, let's try this again. I'm thinking new route. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was an overshot. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Okay, that worked. Sick. All right, we did it. I don't think this does anything, but there's a little chapa plushie. I fire. I think there's supposedly more in here. No, no. Oh, I got distracted by that chapa. Realistically, this would actually be the perfect way to like. I saw somebody flying. This would actually be like the perfect way to waste your time until the black market opens. Okay, now we start the jump glide meta. Is it a little bit obnoxious, especially with a large outfit? Yes, but I'm gonna keep at it. Okay. So last time I went around on the couch thing there and it was freaked me out a little bit. But I think I'm going to do it again because I do not fear God, apparently. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. No! I overshot the table and ended up on the bed. And then I walked off because I thought I didn't do it. Oh my God. Okay. We got it. We, I'm like speed run, baby. It's like a very quick double jump because you have to jump and get out the glider. That's how you got to do it. Okay. Because also the glider gives you a little bit of height as well. I'm on the bed. I'm on the bed. We did it. I think get on this table then. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I I, I overshot the sink and now I'm there. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Oh. Okay. We need to get over there. No. 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 No one move. <laughs> I. I. No. 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 I'm not doing it that way. I think this will work. Okay. Perfect. Uh. Ma'am, you need to move. No. <laughs> I, Okay, 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 try again. Oh my god, oh my god. I was the farthest I'd gotten and I don't remember the route I took at all. This is why I was saying, like, this might need its own video. Got it, got it, got it. Then we do 
Quick jump. This is so difficult. <laughs> How did I do it before? I think we go this way. Okay. And then... Hey, No! <laughs> oh, no. The problem is, I'm like, I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> so I'm actually getting hungry. <laughs> but I don't want to stop playing the little game. I want to clear it. No, oh, I saw that. I saw that. No, I got, uh, I got anxiety because there was a dude behind me. Here we go. Oh, someone. Oh, that was a glitch. I thought that the, I thought that the person with the butterfly up ahead of me fell. I also saw that color scheme. Are you joking? I, uh, the sprint. Don't underestimate the sprint. Okay, we got this. Okay, sprints off. We got this. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. I probably think, I think this would be easier with a different outfit just because the butterfly outfit is like, there's so much. This butterfly outfit has so much going on all the time. Right? Uh, okay. All right. Maybe let's go to Jell's shop because we can go back up, I think. How do we leave? Oh, just like that. That's really cool. That portal is really cool. Oh my God. Okay. I want to try it one more time, but I do want to change my outfit into something that's not as like in your face. So I think we're going to go for a little bit of a fall sheet. I need to figure out how to get back upstairs first. Is this the way to go? No, that's Reth's storeroom and I don't have the key to that. So it's this way then, right? I don't know how to get out. Hmm... I don't know how to get out, I'm gonna be honest. Isn't it this way? It's this way. There we go. Let me out, <laughs> please. I wanna go change into something that isn't like, bam, because the butterfly wings, I'm gonna be honest, they're a little bit distracting. I need something that is easier to see. So we're gonna go into fall chic. I know exactly what outfit I'm gonna do and I'm very excited for it. Not sure what we're gonna do with, about the hair, but we'll figure it out. Oh, oh, we're dropping frames. That's weird. I just, I need something that isn't as, like, distracting. <laughs> this is a very pretty outfit, but my god, is it distracting. We'll go back to hair in a second, but for tops, I want this one. <laughs> I want yellow, and then I want the cute little skirt. Yeah. Black skirt. And then hats. I have no hats, except for the butterfly thing. I think we'll switch to the green one, because it matches a little bit better. And then hair. Do we go back to the, the pigtails? I think we go back to pigtails. I feel like I remember there being less blue on the dip dye here. Maybe I'm going crazy though. And then no hat. We get rid of the hat. Confirm. Yeah. Cute. Okay, we have a less distracting outfit now. Let's go back to Zeki. I forgot you can't jump that. Okay, we're only giving this like a couple more shots because I really want to go out dinner. All right, back to the thing. Where's the thing? Where's the broken game? There it is. Let me add it. The tower. Awesome. Let's kick it. Someone's just sitting. <laughs> that reminds me. I want to check the emotes because I feel like it looks like we got a new emote. Oh, okay. Yep. Overshop. That's fine. Let me check the emote menu. No, we didn't. It just looks like we had like a scared one. Or did we always have it? Eh, I don't know. Let's head out again. I like. I did not think at all for the first part of this. I'm going to be honest. Oh my God. 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 <laughs> I need you to move, bestie. See, they're better than me. They're doing this um, with the butterfly outfit. I could not. I did have to change. I did have to change my outfit. I could not see what I was doing. No, my foot didn't. How are, are you? Why did my foot not hit the table? Okay, one more time. One more time. One more time. No think. Only game. I got this. No, what the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> again, again. I don't think the outfit helped. I feel like I'm doing worse. All right. Okay. We got up. Now we go like that. Okay, we're up. Oh my god, okay. So how did I do this before? I did the bed, then table, that one, that one. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Sink, rug, and then we're gonna go this way, that table. No, my foot slipped again! Can I go over here? Well, let me climb this. No, I have to go back to the beginning. I tried to cheese it. Okay, one more time. One more. And then I'm gonna go change my outfit back. Oh my god, I forgot I was in the corner. Hold on. I'm just gonna go change my outfit back now. Forget it. I need the butterfly buff. I do. It's eight o'clock though. I think Zeki actually might be down here though. Zeki. Oh yeah, Zeki has stuff. Anything good? No, just the huge bathtubs. We gotta hurry this up. I need to go eat dinner. Is this a cute outfit? Yes, but I am at my best when I am wearing the butterfly suit. So we had the ponytail. Secondary color was purple with the undersides thing. And then I need my butterfly outfit. Honestly, I might buy another colorway of that. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, confirm. I'm in my top form. Let us try again. I think I always end up running around in a big circle um, when I come in because I don't realize the tower is over here. Because they put a game in this broken machine though, I kind of hope they do something with the claw machine next to it. That'd be fun. I don't know what they would do, but honestly, what is it? What's, uh, what's the online claw game? Uh, Toriba? It would be really fun if there was something like that, but you just got like weird in-game stuff. I think that'd be really fun. I don't know how they would do it, but I think it would be fun. 
uh, once again, I don't know if they're doing something with it, but I just am saying it would be fun and I would really like it. Oh, someone's raging in the chat. Okay, uh, maybe don't. I don't think people realize you don't have to do this. I glitched. Because that's the thing. This is fun. I think it's fun. I like platformers and sort of ragey games like this every now and then, you know? Um, I also am putting a reminder in here for me who is editing this video to uh, blur out chat. And I'm still on the bottom of the screen. But you don't gain or lose anything from doing or not doing this whole thing. Like, you don't... It's, it's not necessary. Oh, I missed the table. So, like, if you like this style of game, have fun. Go at it. But if you don't, you don't gotta do it. If you don't like a certain part of a game, you don't have to play it. If you don't like a game at all, you don't have to play it. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I missed it again. I'm not doing well. I think I am. I think I have a hunger debuff. I'm gonna be honest. I think I have been hit with the hunger debuff. I missed it. Okay, we're gonna be done. We are gonna be done because I am hungry. <laughs> but I think this is really fun. I think the platformer is fun and I'm excited to like get better at it the more I do it. But you don't have to do it. It's okay if you don't do it. You don't get anything super special from not doing it or doing it. Like, this is usually why I turn the chat off because like, I feel, I don't need, I, if you want to rage, rage, but like, don't be like, I'm quitting the game because I don't like this new thing. This is unfair. Like that's, come on guys, we're better than this. Can I teleport home? Yeah, I can just return home. I do, I like it. That's the thing. I was really excited for this. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I, I'm still really having fun with it. And I'm excited to just like take a minute and like go crazy with it. I also just realized I got the money from my shipping bin. Um, so I'm going to grab that one coin and we're literally just going to go back into the village and I'm going to buy more pumpkins. <laughs> That's literally what we're going to do. I have a coin here. Give me my coin and Bedrew, nothing. I'm going to go back for coins, for pumpkins, for pumpkins. I don't know if I can buy anything though, because uh, the stuff that I had left was a lot more expensive, but gel shop is right by Zeki's. So we'll just do both and then we'll be done with the video. It's quiet. It's quiet in Paleo. Everyone's doing the obstacle course, I think. I'm excited to see the team experiment with more of these like little like niche gameplay things, like different game modes. Just because I enjoy this one doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy the next one. Like if they add like a base builder type of thing gameplay, I I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to be honest, but I don't go for those type of games and that is okay. okay. All right. Can I buy any pumpkin stuff? And also, is it different? It doesn't look like it. I can get the spooky vined pumpkin which I am going to do. And then we have to save for the pumpkin wallpaper, but it looks like that is the extent of the shop. I don't know if more stuff will be added over time. Um, I don't know that off the top of my head, but that is the extent for now. And I want to use my one coin. <laughs> there we go. There she is. Lucky box. Let me unopened oysters. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, wait, is there new stuff down here? Yeah, there is. I don't, what's, I forgot there's another store down here. I want this wisteria wallpaper so bad. Oh my God. I also didn't know you could just buy lucky coins, but I forgot Zeki had another shop. Oh, the rugs are clipping. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. The moonstruck small rug. It's 5,000 coins. That's going to be a no for me, dog. All right, back up we go because I used the teleport button. Now I have to walk home and I'm so hungry. I have to walk. I don't like having to walk home. I try to time my gameplay specifically so I don't have to walk home, but now I have to walk home and this video is already so long. I think I'm going the right way. I know I never walk home anymore. Okay, yeah, I went the right way. Look at me. No directions. Okie dokie. I have one more pumpkin to place. I think this one we will also put on the porch like that. Yay, pumpkins. I need like another pumpkin over on this side to like even it out, but that's cute for now. I love the pumpkins. I also think my cotton seeds are done. So I'll put those there and the blueberry bush will be done in like an hour, which means it'll be done the next time I log in because I'm not going to touch it. Don't need to water anything, which is good. This was nice. I'm going to go sit with my pumpkins and that's how we're going to end the video. I want to sit with these pumpkins in the, the goofy looking Cernuck. Yeah, with my pumpkins. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I just want to sit with my pumpkins. So that is going to be it for this paleo patch update video quite a long one i don't know what it'll edit what it will edit down to but even though this felt like a like smaller update it's so much content still <laughs> if you like this video make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when i upload new ones as always i hope everyone had or is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and i will see you all in my next video bye guys